what's up guys welcome back to my channel so we have a few little things for ahsoka and i thought to just kind of bring them all into one video so first we've got a little tv spot called force uh then we've got a featurette and then we've got a little something called new star wars legacy and this is all for ahsoka so we're gonna go ahead and check out the first thing which is the TV spot. Let me just make sure that my volume is up because don't come for me in the comments. My volumes are always extremely high. Y'all want to check yours. And maybe sometimes it's the video itself that's playing um, and there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, you know, it is what it is. So just make sure that your volumes are high. Let's go ahead and check out this first thing called Force. Everyone in the Order knew Anakin Skywalker. Few would live to see what he became. By the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him and the Jedi. In this war, you will face more than just droids. As your master, it's my responsibility to prepare you. Ooh. I won't always be there to look out for you. I could use the help. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Free. Trust your instincts. Ooh. I know you can do this, Ahsoka. I think this is going to be pretty good, y'all. I think this is going to be pretty good. All right, I like that. So let's go and get into this featurette. Always two there are. No more, no less. A master and an apprentice. Star Wars always has these great master-apprentice relationships. Remember, a Jedi can feel the Force flowing through him. It's very much the idea of apprenticeship. The need for those two groups to come together in order to pass down the knowledge and to help save the world. In the case of Star Wars. When I left you, I was but a learner. Now I am the master. Only a master of evil, God. All of that wisdom gets passed down over those generations. We have Qui-Gon Jinn, who's the master of Obi-Wan, who's the master of Anakin Skywalker. And by being trained by Anakin, Ahsoka is part of that legacy as well. Ahsoka is a character that Dave Filoni created and worked with George Lucas <laughs> on in The Clone Wars. Originally, we didn't know exactly what the Clone Wars was going to be, and there was a Jedi and there was a Padawan who thought, we'll put them on adventures, but uh, George had other ideas. <laughs> he says, well, let's give Anakin Skywalker a Padawan. And I was like, Anakin doesn't have a Padawan. And he just looked at me and said, Anakin has a Padawan. And that was basically it. That's how Ahsoka came ah, about. Okay. We cast Ashley Eckstein to be the voice of the character. And she's fantastic in the Clone Wars and Rebels. For a character that has such depth and complexity, to bring that to live action made a tremendous amount of sense. Rosario Dawson is such an incredibly powerful actress, and she loves this character. I'm playing someone who is an absolute expert. I really wanted to be able to physicalize that as much as possible. There need to be a lot of lights in the fights, and they have to be good, because our fans know the difference. No matter how tired I was, I was like... Sign me up for some more. Sign me up for some more. When you step into Star Wars, you are part of a legacy. And we had to uphold that history and yet do this completely new and different thing. I think she'll From the beginning of this series, Ahsoka is out there on the fringe of the galaxy. When she hears whispers of this warlord's return, she decides to enlist her friends' help. This is about preventing another war. You know who could help? Sabine Wren. I'm not sure she'll want to help. I'm telling the story about this mentor-student relationship that passes from Anakin to Ahsoka to Sabine. Mm. There is nothing easy about being a Jedi. It's quite extraordinary. I bring this to life. <laughs> when the stakes are this high, we have to do what's right.
I like that. I like hearing, you know, the backstory of all of that. Because, you know, I've been introduced to Star Wars and things like that. So I always like to know how things are connected and why. All right, so the last thing we have here is new Star Wars Legacy. So this is a good seven or so minutes. So let's go ahead and check this out. Always two there are. No more, no less. This has a little bit of what we just saw. And an apprentice. Star Wars always has these great master-apprentice relationships. Remember, a Jedi can feel the Force flowing through him. You see that handing down of mastery, the teaching, the developing, the growing. Do or do not. There is no try. It's very much yeah. the idea of apprenticeship. The do need for those not. two groups to come together in order to pass down the knowledge and to help save the world. In the case of Star Wars. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Only a master of evil, God. Those life lessons are what make these characters some of the most iconic characters worldwide. The war is just beginning. And I will not be the last Jedi. All of that wisdom gets passed down, you know, over those generations. We have Qui-Gon Jinn, who's the master of Obi-Wan, who's the master of Anakin Skywalker. And by being trained by Anakin, Ahsoka is part of that legacy as well. Ahsoka is a character that Dave Filoni created and worked with George Lucas on in the Clone Wars. Originally, we didn't really know, you know, exactly what the Clone Wars was going to be, and we made up our own little band of characters. There was a, a character that was a Jedi, and there was a Padawan, and thought, we'll put them on adventures, but, uh, you know, George had other ideas. <laughs> he says, well, and this character, and he points to the Padawan we had, and he says, let's give Anakin Skywalker a Padawan. And I was like, Anakin doesn't have a Padawan. And he just looked at me and said, Anakin has a Padawan. And that was basically it. That's how Ahsoka came about. We cast Ashley Eckstein to be the voice of the character. And she's fantastic in the Clone Wars and Rebels. Ahsoka is one of the most well-developed characters in Star Wars, period. She is the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker. She is the only one that he is trained to be a Jedi. This young teenage girl who was <laughs> trained to be a keeper of the peace had to become a warrior worthy of standing next to the greatest Jedi of all time. Ahsoka's story and her growth has mirrored my own. As you see, my style of storytelling matured and the stories got more complex. It had grown to the point where I wanted to take what I was doing in animation and really see if I could get it to this type of storytelling that I'd grown up with in Star Wars. Mandalorian season one was a perfect place for me to experiment with my own creativity and style I but have it. a great backstop and support from collaborating with all these other extraordinary people. You must reunite it with its own kind. This is the way. So when season two came around, I was like, for my episode, I was like, well, I'm going to do Ahsoka. I'm like, I just need to try this. Let's do it. Ahsoka Tano, bo sent me. I hope it's about him. For a character that has oh, such depth and cute. complexity. To bring that character to live action made a tremendous amount of sense. Tell me what I want to know. Where is your master? George visited the set when we were filming the lightsaber fight in the Japanese Garden, season two. And I think it was really encouraging of Dave stepping up to this role. And so George would turn to Kathy and myself and be proud of Dave. He was Dave's teacher and Dave was his apprentice.
there are moments when I just stare at her and I'm just like, wow, she just looks like this thing I've drawn, you know, but Sarah's done all the research, like she knows the character, but now she has to become it in a way that's never happened before. Yeah, it actually, the, the thing that feels most awkward right now is talking <laughs> with you, you know, the, the posing and, and, you know, sort of the, um, the stances we're doing, that's not unusual, but speaking as Rosario while in Ahsoka is a little startling. Um, I really love the transformation and really deep diving into who she is. Rosario Dawson is just such an incredibly powerful actress and she loves this character. I think everything about who Ahsoka is has just brought to life in a way that almost nobody else could. She not only gets a character, but she gets like the Star Wars of it all, which is an important ingredient. You have to be in it. This is a hard thing. You're going to have to be painted orange every day. You're going to have to put a prosthetic on your head every day. You're going to be training like a Jedi to learn how to lightsaber fight almost every day. I'm playing someone who is an absolute expert and so I really wanted to be able to, to physicalize that as much as possible. Yeah, Jai's primary weapon is a lightsaber. There need to be a lot of lightsaber fights. And they have to be good because our fans know the difference. When I started getting my stances and some of the postures and, you know, started really getting my left hand up to par with my right, that I started to really feel like I was sinking into who Ahsoka was because her physicality is such a huge part of who she is. No matter how tired I was, I was like... Sign me up for some more. Sign me up for some more. I like how they're telling the story. When you step into Star Wars and work with George, you are part of a legacy. You're part of a history. And we had to uphold that history and yet do this completely new and different thing. Ahsoka is another story where you can step in at any point and not feel that you necessarily have to have seen everything. Mm. From the beginning of this series, it's Ahsoka is like out me. there on the fringe of the galaxy. When she hears whispers of this warlord's return, she decides to enlist her friend's help. This is about preventing another war. You know who could help? Sabine Red. I'm not sure she'll want to help. I'm telling the story about this mentor-student relationship that passes from Anakin to Ahsoka to Sabine. There is nothing easy about being a Jedi. It's quite extraordinary to bring this to life. When the stakes are this high, we have to do what's right. So see, this is good for me to watch because it gives me a little bit of an origin story. It gives me a little in-depth to what it took to be a silk and how important it is going to be in this series and you know being introduced to star wars and things like that i think this is just a good addition for me to know a little bit more about the star wars saga when introducing ahsoka so i'm excited i'm, I'm definitely looking forward to watching leave your comments down below let me know if you guys are looking forward to this do you guys think it's going to be a hit what do you guys um, expect if anything with this series and if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel hit like share and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever i pop up on your feed i'll see you guys later Toodles.